Hi, Adam Bazaljet here from Scratch Golf Academy. Today, my favorite golf swing takeaway drills, stop rolling that club inside. It is a real problem. I'm going to show you two ways that hurts your game, and then three really good drills to help you sort it out. If you're new to this channel, would love it if you'd subscribe. If you do so, hit the little bell there. You'll be notified every time a brand new instruction video is coming your way. Also, if you're at the App Store, Scratch Golf Academy, we have a wonderful app, free to you. All sorts of training tools, tempo trainers, etc. Hope you'll check that out. Adam Scott on the right. We'll see him just go right up that plane line near enough. Club stays just in front of it. We'll see the everyday golfer on the left with the problem we're discussing today. Such a common problem. Just goes straight underneath that plane. Club getting pretty much horizontal there as he goes back. Now, let's look at a couple of checkpoints as we uh, digest what's happening. Look how much folding has happened in the right wrist and arm there. And although Adam's right arm may have folded very, very slightly, it's pretty much straight. And that means the integrity of this triangle here has stayed intact. And not only that, but it's stayed on a tilt that matches his pivot there. So watch as Adam takes it back. Watch his right shoulder start to push nicely up into the air right there. And watch this fellow. It folds. Right shoulder doesn't do much. Club just drags behind him. A couple more quick examples. Let's look at that player. How about Justin Thomas? We'll notice a pretty consistent space between hands and body. We don't want anything too contrived. Everything just moves back nicely. Again, right arm folds just a touch, but nothing significant in terms of angles there. And you'll see a little bit of a concave look as he takes it back there. Watch this fellow here. Club handles pointed over there somewhere. Big angle between left arm and shaft. One final set of references here as we look from the face on view there with Justin Thomas. If we just get him maybe to his right leg, his club and his right palm are more or less looking, not at the ball, but more or less that way. They're not looking back at us as would be a typical player that gets the club way inside. So why is it such a big problem to get the club a little bit inside, whether you roll it or just crank it back there? Well, two real reasons. Number one, when that club gets too level or horizontal this way, it has to steepen just to hit the ball and connect with the ground down there. Most golfers find that very, very difficult to manage. It starts to get over the top or their body angles change as they fight it. It's just difficult to do. Nancy Lopez, Ray Floyd, John Daly could all do that, but few and far between are the great players that did that. So it's complicated for playing. Secondly, bad for timing. Clubhead moves entirely too far for what the body's done. It's hard to recover and get the sink. You want the clubhead responding to you as you move here. Makes it a lot easier not only to get on plane, but to get the clubhead responding to you properly coming back. Much simpler. Okay, our first drill, our third drill, by the way, coming up is the steroid version. If you like, it'll really knock it out of there if you haven't cured, cured yourself. But let's go with drill number one. Hands together, we're forming a triangle. And all I'm doing is simply just rocking the triangle back. You see this space stays about the same. I can feel this stay long and this right side rise. Just going a little bit past that back leg. Nice and simple. Believe me, if you're making a good golf swing, once you're used to it, it should feel simpler. It is simpler than a bad one. This is a lot more complex than that is. So keep it simple, move together, don't manipulate the club, but just move that triangle and then you'll start to get the correct feel. Number two drill, open right hand drill, trail hand if you like, left hand for the left-handed golfer. Club will be a couple of inches off the ground, flatten your hand, put the back of the fingertips against the front of the shaft and just work your body and take those hands a little bit past this back leg here. You'll notice a couple of things. Your right palm is looking more this way as is the club face. People often say, isn't that shut? It isn't shut. If you haven't changed the angle of this lead wrist here and turned it that way, just because it's looking more towards the golf ball and less at you, it isn't shut. You'll also get a real sense of this concave feel and this nice connection here in this front arm. Great little drill there. Third and final drill, this is our steroid drill if you like. If the other two haven't knocked it out, this will probably do it. And when we're done with these, we'll look a little bit about how to transfer these drills into actually hitting shots. So here's the drill. We're taking a little bucket. You don't have to have one. Could be a cup, an imaginary object, a ball even. Get your golf posture. Don't hold it out here. 
And as I start my takeaway, what I'm going to feel is that I actually reverse twist this bucket almost like so. So you're looking virtually at the opening of it. Obviously that would be open club face. Make sure you do it really with the upper forearms and upper arms, not with the hands. So as I go back, I feel a consistent connection. My body's moving the bucket, but I'm turning it under. It extra steepens the shoulder turn, causes that right arm to look longer and this to look really connected. Fantastic feel. The only reason you may not be able to do that when you hit a shot, at least a small shot, which we're going to look at here in a moment, and that is just giving the ball too much energy, locking onto solid contact. It won't let you do the things you want to do. So let's rehearse it here. I'm going to turn that under like so. I can really feel an exaggerated feeling of concave. And I'm just going to do it. Whatever happens, hey, I dropped it in, I hit it fat, not going to pay attention to that. I'm going to do it on that scale, make sure I get the feel. You could say similarly with the open hand drill we did just a minute ago. You might want to have the ball on a low tee. Pump it a couple of times like so, then just grab the club with the right hand and make a little shot. No thought for, ink, for outcome, for contact. Hang in there with these drills. Do some of these at home. Put a wiffle ball down at that speed, you won't hurt anything, I don't think. Work on these drills, it will make such a difference if you get a good, clean, coordinated takeaway where the club stays in front of you and on plane. Hope this helps.